Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's just get straight into it, yeah? Hmm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. So Gemini, I feel like you might be going through some emotional stuff this month. I'm seeing orange, but I'm also seeing yellow. 
but the most prominent color is orange. And to me, that talks about the sacral chakra, the emotions. You might be dealing with some emotional turmoil, I'm hearing. Surrounding what? Could potentially be surrounding a breakup. Um, you could also just be really driven in a new direction. Because now the yellow is really coming forward. And now blue is coming through. So this is like speaking your truth. Letting your feelings, your needs, your desires be known. And I guess if someone doesn't accept it, doesn't like it, doesn't want to be a part of it, then just move on. Okay. All right, Gemini. I'm going to give you one more shuffle, and then we're going to get into the cards. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we've got for you. <laughs> All right. Overall energy. You've got... Hey, the King of Wands. So I really see you're passionately driven about something. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could have fire in your chart. Um, but it doesn't have to be either of these. Gemini, this is, could really just be you being passionately driven. You've got your sights on something and you're moving towards it, regardless of what other, other people may have to say about it. And that's, that's great. I would just, because there, there, there is, there, there could be an energy of, you know, you going after what it is you want at all costs. And that can be really detrimental to you. Not just you, but the people that you are, that, you know, you may be coming in contact with. You have the Three of Cups here. You have a celebration. You have a union of sorts. Um, this could be you getting together with friends and family this month. Um, but this is also mind, body, and spirit working in tandem. Whoa, you've got the tower. Scor uh, uh, I'm sorry, not Scorpio energy. Mars energy. Oh, actually, it could be Scorpio energy too. Okay, but there's a tower moment here. This could be for you or this could be uh, surrounding somebody else. And look at here, you have the Seven of Swords. So I see there's some sort of, maybe you're making some sort of escape. Um, there could be a third party situation. Some of you could have realized that someone that you were dealing with was very much a King of Wands, um, very egotistical, maybe driven by lust and passion. Um, you know, uh, this could be a situation in which someone was cheating on you. And you found out, or maybe you were cheating on someone else and they found out, or this could just be someone that is so focused on what they want and their desires and, um, kind of regardless of what other people, what the other person in this, like, say if you're in a relationship or you were in a relationship with someone, you Gemini, or someone was in a relationship with you Gemini, and either you or the other person was just very, very much driven on your own satisfaction and now you know there's been a tower moment surrounding that maybe it came to light and someone else decided that they didn't want to be a part of the relationship anymore or um you know someone found out about a third party situation uh could be like another romantic partner it doesn't have to be though a third party situation could really be anything anything that gets in the way of the two pete the two people in the relationship um, what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords here is someone is planning an escape. And they really, they really might not be telling, saying much about it. But, uh, but either there is some, there's some new deceptive energy going on or there's something going on underneath the surface that's not being shed light on yet or a light isn't being shed on it yet. Or this is a situation from the past in which someone was being deceptive. Someone was, I'm hearing it, someone was going about something in a very egotistical manner. Um, just really focused on what they wanted, what they wanted out of the relationship, not really willing to reciprocate in the relationship. But in the Three of Cups here, I see some, that this same person was giving to some sort of social situation, but that was really only because it fed their pride and their ego. Okay. But now there's a tower moment surrounding that, and that situation could be coming to an end. But let's see what we, what we got here. In your first row, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Five of Cups. All right. Regret and remorse. Shame and guilt. Ooh. Wow. 
Wow, this card just does not want to. <laughs> Here we go, Five of Cups. But you see, I was having trouble picking up this card. And I really feel like someone, and I just saw 555 five, five on the counter, and this is the Five of Cups. Someone is not wasting their time feeling too regretful, too remorseful. And look, you've got the Three of Cups here. You've got the Three of Cups here. And that's the cup that has spilled, all right? So someone may have been in a regretful, a mournful period. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be someone that you've been connecting with. But I really feel like whoever was feeling the most upset about this, and this was the person that, I really feel like this was the person that found out about the third party. Um, they've got something in the background here with the Two of Cups, okay? That's for some of you. For others of you, the message is... Um, Especially with that card not wanting to, <laughs> not wanting me to hand, hold it up in front of the camera, falling like flying off the, off my desk and all that. Now, granted, I just I did just put some lotion on my hands, so they're a little bit slick. But the the the, the thing about it is, don't waste your time. Don't waste too much time feeling sorry for yourself or feeling sorrow for this situation in which there was a third party. Because ultimately, whoever whoever was being inconsistent or not or cheating or whatnot, they're going to get their comeuppance. I'm just saying. That's what the universe is saying. Like, you don't have to worry about that, okay? Five of Cups is coupled with... <laughs> the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, this really is someone that's really not going to spend too much time feeling sorry. Queen of Swords, we could be, we could be talking divorce here. The Queen of Swords is the divorcee. And if it's not a divorce, it's the it's the ending of a long-standing relationship. But this person is really not going to be spending too much time feeling sorry about it. Ain't nobody she don't have, she or he does not have time for that. And really doesn't even regret much about that anyway. I really feel like there was a struggle for some time. There could have been for some of you, there could have been a power struggle for some time, and now it's really come to the point where the ego has really made itself shown. And the true colors have been shown, and now it's just like, fuck this, I'm done with the Queen of Swords, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, you've got the Knight of Cups. See, I told you, somebody has somebody else coming in with this Knight of Cups energy, which really helps, <laughs> which really helps not be so worried about this any longer, all right? Knight of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the High Priestess. But see, it's kind of in the background, it's hidden. This is the universe saying we are aligning you with someone new, someone better. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be for the cross watcher. Um, we're aligning with you with someone that's much better suited for you and your needs. You just stay patient. Someone secretly wants to make an offer to someone else, but maybe hasn't followed through with it yet. Your challenge for the first set of energies here, you've got... The Six of Cups, a soulmate. Now, this situation, there could be some sort of reconciliation coming through here. Okay, for some of you, it might be this person that is being cut out. This could Now, this could be you, Gemini, as the Queen of Swords. But someone that's being cut out may want to come back and make another offer. And the challenge here is that you, you you two may really be soulmates, but understand that soulmates don't always have to be together forever. Soulmates really could be people that teach you a lesson. And the challenge here could be letting go of this soulmate tie because the lesson has been learned. Six of Cups is coupled with the Six of Swords. Exactly. Moving away from this soulmate tie. Also, the Six of Cups can talk about the past. So moving away from the past, releasing the past, letting go of what happened in the past in order to move forward. Now, if somebody has been cheating on you, I'm not sure you would want to do that. But hey, it's your life. You make your own decisions. Okay. But there could be, there really could be an offer of an apology of some sort. The Knight of Cups isn't the official apology card, but it is some sort of invitation, some sort of offer. It could rep represent some sort of reconciliation. It's entirely possible. This is a general reading, guys, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. The final outcome, the potential outcome, excuse me, or the final message for this first row, you've got the sun, illumination, seeing clearly knowing that everything is going to be okay, regardless of how this this works out. 
Regardless of whether you two part ways or if you come back together, everything's going to be okay. The sun is coupled with the nine of pentacles. Well, all right, so uh, nah, you, you might be better off single. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm just gonna throw that out there. You might be better off single with the sun and the nine of pentacles because the nine of pentacles is the bachelor bachelorette card this is full autonomy this is abundance this is rewards for work for work well done but this it's really for the most part this is the single card and again you may just be better off single getting into your second set of energies gemini first set of surrounding energies you got the nine of cups Okay, now I am picking up an energy of drowning one's sorrows, overindulgence. We are in the holiday season. For some of you that are, for some of you that are, are coming out of a relationship, you might be really indulging in all of the fantastic foods and drinks that come with the holiday festivities. You may be in a position where it's like, fuck it, I'm single. I'm going to do whatever the F I want, whenever the F I want to do it. I'm going to eat and drink whatever the F I want, whenever the F I want. <laughs> that kind of energy. Okay. All right. But take it into moderation. All right. But this is also a card of wish fulfillment. But I see this really becoming, coming from like friends and family and spending time in that sort of situation. Okay. Nine of cups is coupled with, woo, judgment. Um, ultimately, whatever you're going to be going through here is bringing you an opportunity for wish, wish fulfillment. There could be a reconciliation here, all right? And that could be something that someone, either you or the cross watcher, was hoping for. That could happen with judgment here. The judgment is a reconciliation, is also, though, is um, uh, reincarnation. Gosh, there's a word that I'm trying to think of that's on the top of tip of my tongue, but I can't get it out right now. Um, rebirth. Oh, like a phoenix from the ashes risen kind of energy. So if some of you, if some of you really have been wishing to be single at this point, you really might get it. I mean, it might be best just to to listen to the call. That is coming that is coming towards you because if you really desire to be single, I feel like that is going to set you up to pull to bring forward a partner that would be much better suited for you. Potentially. Again, this is a general reading. There's just an energy. What I'm really getting from this um, judgment and the nine of cups, someone really just has been wishing to be single for some time, potentially. And now, if once you answer that call, your wishes will be fulfilled. You'll be able to let loose and not keep such a tight regimen to please somebody else or to stay on the up and up for somebody else, that kind of thing. Second set of surrounding energies for your second row here, you've got death, transformation. We really could be talking about a divorce, a breakup, some sort of transformation. And I feel like it's been a long time coming. Death is coupled with, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Now, this also could be the death of some sort of imbalance between a relation, between give and take in a relationship, which could mean the relationship is over, or it could be reshaped, and greater reciprocity could be brought into the situation but the way the cards are lining up here you've got the tower you've got death you know you got judgment you got the nine of pentacles this really you got the queen of swords this really could be a relation a long-standing relationship that could just very well be over at this point and at this point it really feels like there's no use denying it any longer i don't really think you can deny it any longer for some of you Okay, you do have three sixes here. That's interesting. Six, six, six. This is, no, it's not the number of the devil, y'all. It's a number of balance, um, love, a balance between love and harmony within the home and family life and all that. And I, I really feel like this is bringing an end to a, a very imbalanced situation. In some cases, someone may have been 
may have had to, felt like they had to beg for some sort of reciprocity. And it's I really feel like someone is taking their power away from this King of Wands energy. That's really just been all about themselves for the longest time. And I feel like for some of you in this relationship, it's always been that way. But you may have been some sort of like a flowy energy, maybe more of the, maybe more in the feminine aspect than the masculine aspect, maybe a little more submissive than dominant. And that's not a bad thing, you know, they, the two balance each other out. But what I feel like is this relationship could have been like this for long standing for a very long time. Like this. Like this person is very domineering and didn't really listen to the other, kind of was pretty controlling, um, set certain standards that for the most part were pretty unreasonable. Well, you have a chance to get yourself out of that. Whether that's you, Gemini, or the cross watcher, you have a chance to get yourself out of that. All right? Your challenge in the second row here, you've got the nine of wands, but you're still fighting. Someone is still fighting. Why? Stop fighting. Stop fighting for this. Nine of wands is coupled with <laughs> the knight of pentacles. Good Lord. It's like you're finding every reason to stick it out here. But is that really serving you? I mean, come on. Haven't you seen enough already? I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to judge. I'm just saying... For some of you, though, the challenge could be sticking it out. That might be for the Gemini here. But I'm hearing reciprocity. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight on the deck. Now, he doesn't, he leaves no stone unturned. He's very thorough with his work and, like, uh, whatever challenge he's taken up, but. I feel like someone is using that to their advantage to not really make a change here. To keep up their defenses and stay the same. Which could be why that's the challenge, all right? Your final message here, potential outcome at least, you have the two of wands. There you go, making a decision. And I really feel like this is, someone has made a decision here. Two of Wands is coupled with, oh boy, the Four of Wands. And this to me is someone making a decision to go where greater stability lies. This could be you deciding to move, like, like someone deciding to just change location and move to a different area, move homes. Um, this could be a situation where you're moving out. Again, if, if we're talking about the end of a marriage now, I, I really that's not something we all want to be talking about, especially during this time of year. Whoops. But if we're talking about, um, you know, the ending of a marriage, then yeah, you may be having to decide to move. But what I'm what I'm getting with the four of wands and the two of wands, the four of or I'm sorry, the decision to move is coming from a greater place of stability and foundation and union within. Okay. For some of you. For the most part, I want to say, to be honest. All right, let's get into your oracle message for the month here. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, December 2018. Let's see what we've got for you, Gemini. There we go. Healer. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Healer, you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. That's excellent. Stay true to your path. Not what someone else says is right for you. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be the cross watcher. 
Remain on your path as a healer. And I would even recommend trying taking some of those healing gifts and turning them back on, in on yourself, right? Heal yourself with your own ability. That'd be nice. All right, Gemini, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am available for private readings if anybody is interested. Um, I am going to be taking less than normal because I do want to take it a bit easy this month. But my email address and the, off the readings that I offer are found in the description box below. Um, go ahead and check that out and email me and I'll get you set up. If you can't decide which reading to, to order, email me. We'll chat about it and I'll help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yeah? So with that said... I hope everyone has a great month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.